What's up guys, back out here in the shop working on the Fiero, the 3800 swap Fiero. We have cooling system to finish, wiring to finish, fuel lines to finish, exhaust to finish, and that's about it. And then I should be able to start it. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so I don't remember where I was at on the last video I did, but the engine's in, which I think we covered that. Uh, the coil did not fit. I had it on this bracket back here in the corner. I'm gonna mount it back behind the, uh, the battery tray. The shift cables are hooked up, slave cylinders on. Modified the four cylinder throttle cable to work. Um, Looking at this, I think I'm gonna go with the electric cruise control off of the Buick this engine came out of. I think I figured out how to wire it up. So I'm gonna get rid of that vacuum canister and all that crap and mount that over there and figure out how to run its throttle cable and wire that up. I know I think that'll be a better way to go. Um, but yeah, I gotta figure out the uh, C500 connector and the C203 connector. I think I've got those pretty well figured out. This is an 84 Fiero, so those are a little bit different than uh, the 85 to 88s. 85 to 88 Fieros, the C500 connector mounts over here in front of where the battery is. This being an 84 Fiero, it is back here on the firewall. You can't see it, it's down there. I think I'm gonna have to move it a little bit to get it to clear. Uh, also, the way the wiring goes through, it's a little bit different. Got all this wiring stuff down here in the trunk off the Fiero uh, wiring harness. This thing has the power distribution that goes through it. This is the C500 connector. And I think I'm just gonna run the power distribution stuff down to the starter, how they did it on the uh, 84 Fiero, kind of keep it more factory. So yeah, gotta figure that stuff out here. But yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. All right, so I got the wiring for the C500 all labeled. And this is what I was talking about. These two wires here, these are fusible links. And these are your, uh, oh, what are they, power distribution for the uh, vehicle. Was spliced over to the alternator. I don't need that on this swap. I've already got a wire run for that, so I'm just going to run these right down to the uh, starter. I think that should work. So yeah, now I just got to get this installed, splice in some of the wires that I need to splice in, and go from there. I also labeled the C203 connector, which goes under the uh, center console. And I'm getting the wires run in. The factory, uh, factory hole in there, and I'm gonna mount the computer in where the factory Fiero computer mounts. So now let's keep working. All right, cooling system's done. Fuel system's done. Coil packs mounted. Spark plug wires are made. Batteries installed. Throttle cables done. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the wiring, putting some fluids in it, and then we can see if she lights off and runs. Fingers crossed. All right, today I'm gonna try to start working on this wiring here. Get it cleaned up, get it where it needs to go, get the computer plugged in, get it mounted, and see if we can't make this thing make some noise. So let's get started. I hear something cool. It runs. Well, I gotta cover the harness, or wrap the harness, I mean. 
got the battery installed, I've got the cooling system done and bled. I've got it to where it will start and run. Get her and fire her up, I guess. Full disclosure here, guys. I try to start the car and it cranks, but it won't fire. Turns out the ground cable was loose and I shorted out the ignition module. The new one should be here sometime this week. So in the next video, you can hear this thing run. And uh, I also have finished the exhaust since then. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next one.